Gaffer, uh, grinding out a, a one-goal win on the on the road. Just how, how proud are you of the, the boys after that result? Uh, no, I think we, we spoke about their qualities as characters on Saturday. And what they did, they didn't allow that effort to be in vain tonight. And they've backed it up again with another hard fought. I mean, it was that's, that's the biggest war of attrition I've had maybe in the last 10 years. So to back it up with a win and to know that late on we have that, we still have that threat was, was very rewarding tonight. Yeah, and on a Tuesday night away from home in any game, I guess it's always more about the result than the performance, and that's the case tonight. Well, it's always about the, uh, the result, unfortunately. We don't get scored on performances, we get scored on whether we win or lose or we draw. Um, so that's what, all that matters, but again, terrific character from the players. I thought the back four defended brilliantly all night, really well. We had to deal with three games worth of set plays, including the, the, the long throws. And when we spoke about the preparation of this game, we mentioned last year at Maidenhead, we mentioned the, the, six, the six minutes of the ball coming in and out of the box. And we spoke about enjoying that pressure and enjoying them having that, that constant uh, avalanche of the ball into our box. And I thought they showed a real energy and enthusiasm to, to deal with those situations. So I was really pleased with the way we defended the box and even more pleased with the, uh, the late winner. And three clean sheets on the bounce. You just spoke about the back four there, but even when you take two influential players out like Dodsey and Luke Waterfall, um, you know, uh, Billy and, and Steve were coming in and you know, carrying on that tradition of, of getting that clean sheet and really grinding out tonight. Yeah, hopefully the training ground is a, you know, is 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 something that you know uh, contributes to that and the the frequency of our work. I always think if you defend your box right, you've always got a chance in games. And uh, we saw that Saturday. We saw that again tonight. And we won't come up against too many more um, aggressively direct teams as we have done tonight. I think they're a real threat. I think they've got a real chance this year of, of being uh, in the division come next year because they're going to win so many points here with the slope and the surface and the fact that I think every player can throw the ball half a mile. They're a real, uh, they're a real handful. So I thought we did really well to, to, to repel that threat and then having that little bit more um, quality and what we saw uh, late on was um, was really pleasing. Yeah, and great to see a, a different formation as well. Obviously, Fev coming in and playing that deep line road. It's great to have that in your arsenal. Yeah, we, we would have liked to have used him more. I think Nicky is a is a lovely calm amongst the chaos. We we thought it'd be chaotic, which is why Hunter and Sharon had to you know retain that their positions. But we thought Nick would maybe calm the game down a little bit more. He didn't really get the opportunity to. The game was so frantic, so chaotic. Um, and uh, But when the moment did come where he could play, he's a wonderful player and he's kept himself in a condition where he can jump in after two games. Hasn't played a minute and, uh, until tonight. And uh, he's, um, he's shown what a true professional he is and what a brilliant servant to this football club. So I'm really pleased with the players that come in and... You know, uh, Honorazi and Mancini who came on, I thought they had real impacts in the game, real positive impacts in the game. That's what we need. This is a squad game. This is a, you know, we're only a little squad. I've, only, I've always subscribed to having a small squad where I can hopefully manage them as best I can. Um, and um, hopefully again tonight we've shown that even with, um, you know, the late signings and things like that, we've, you know, we've got some good players here that are committed to winning games at the club. And just talk to me about that goal. You mentioned Anthony coming on, making an impact, and obviously uh, Nathan Sharon playing a, a perfect ball through and Joe Gray getting off the mark. Yeah, well, it, it was. We, we always thought that the, the game would be easier to play in uh, just after we'd won it back, so in that transition state. And after that transition, that first pass getting away, I thought we made a mess of it initially, and then it, it kind of smoothened it, uh, it smoothed out with um, Nathan's pass. And then Joe has got that centre forward way about him. So I thought he took it very, very well. It was the one clean opportunity. I thought we had a couple of oohs and ahs on the night. Um, Adam Campbell had one first half, had a really good chance. It was just past the post. Um, but that you know, was a good, good moment for Joe. And his work ethic has probably um, on merit. You know, he deserves that for, for the work he's put in in the first three games.
and just an all-round good day for the football club on a day that you've made two signings as well. Darren Robinson coming in on loan from Derby and, and Gary Medine as well, having trained with the club. Now putting pen to paper, how excited are you to, to get them to Yeah, Darren, we're really grateful to Derby and, and the guys there. You know, I've got some good friends there, the, the manager and one of the coaches I, uh, I've worked with previously in my career and really grateful to, to the academy for, for getting it done so quickly, you know. We like Darren, he's a Northern Irish boy, a real tenacity. We feel like he's ready for senior football on his, on his first loan. <clears throat> we, he will contribute greatly, over, especially over the bank holiday weekend. Um, and obviously Gary's one that's been thrown around here, there and everywhere. And he's been training with us and what it does, it, it allows us, it would have been a Gary Medine night tonight, you know, to relieve um, just a reveal of the work he's had to do in the first couple of games. Uh, it would have been a real night for him. I think Gary would have thrived, uh, you know, having a bit of a throw around um, tonight and he would have been a, a useful uh, impact. But that's why we want Gary. His, his career is his career and uh, he's, a, he's a good chap.